Ken, on days like today, you must be happy you're not serving here anymore. But, uh, <laughs> we need his vote. Yeah, well, we do need your vote. But uh, fortunately, uh, we had a good vote to replace him. Uh, the most important thing to understand today is that the vote on David Hayes has nothing to do with David Hayes. I mean, it's only in the bizarro world of Washington, D.C. that that could be the case. But it is the case. Even the people who oppose him agree that he is supremely well qualified for this position. Uh, but what we, what we have here is a classic hostage taking. They're holding up his ability to get to work with Secretary Salazar and President Obama to do the country's business because they're upset about some unrelated tangential issue. And that only undermines the public's confidence in business in, as usual in Washington. That only deepens the cynicism. And that's not right. Uh, we got to get people like David Hayes to work solving the problems. It's not as if we have uh, peace and prosperity, right, Ken? That there are no big issues we have to deal with. And ironically enough, as I understand it, you actually want to get David to work on the underlying problem that's bothering these people. So they're, they're, they're holding up David Hayes is actually keeping the, us from solving the underlying issue that they're complaining about. Now try and explain that to the American people. It is inexplicable. And uh, it, again, my major concern here is that David is a good person. I've known him for 30 years. He's supremely well qualified. Even his opponents will agree with that. Secondly, this, this just deepens the cynicism about business as usual in Washington. And we don't need more of that. And finally, we've got a full agenda, important things to deal with. This keeps us from getting on with that. It's not right. We ought to vote him in there and save the argument and the squabbling for things that are truly important. Thank you.